Time to get down to business on this Thursday. Pinch hitting for Cosmo Macero tonight. Executive editor for the Boston Business Journal, George Donnelly, he joins us from our Beacon Hill studio. And George, first of all, let's talk about the post office. This is a company that's trying to, well, keep jobs, and it looks like they're going to hold off on cutting back on days, but the hours uh, are going to be something they're going to look at closely. It's a big political mess that uh, they're trying to deal with. I mean, to put everything in context, the Postal Service is looking at losing $14 billion in 2012. And so they're scrambling around trying to figure out what the right thing to do is given all the uh, consumer needs there are. I mean, and they had a plan to cut back significantly in rural areas, some 3,700, mostly in rural areas. And they got so much pushback, they're going with a plan B. And this plan B basically means more widespread hours cutbacks, but saving a lot of those remote branches. Yeah, they didn't want to close those branches, at least not yet, but you have to wonder where this is headed. It does not look good. It doesn't. It's Saturday delivery doesn't look good. And I think that's the next thing that's on the table. All right, let's move on to Dunkin' Donuts now. Local company, you get them all around here. You can go out down the street, pick up a <laughs> cup of coffee, get a donut. But now... They've expanded globally. They're out now opening their first store in India. Unbelievable, isn't it? You think about it, there are 1.2 billion people in India and only one Dunkin' Donuts. So what kind of lines are that going <laughs> to... Yeah, that's a, that's a real serious problem we got. Um, obviously, there's room for expansion in India, uh, and they do have a plan uh, to put about 100 there over the next five years. The question is, do Indians... Are they really ready for Dunkin' Donuts? It's not really a donut consuming nation yet, number one. And so they're trying to acclimate Indians to the idea they actually are offering a mango donut at their, uh, at their flagship store. And the other thing is yep. that it's, it's kind of a tea drinking and not a coffee drinking right. country. So that's a whole nother issue, but my money's on Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, and they also opened up before Starbucks, always key. And yep. finally, let's talk about mortgage rates real quickly here. But the 30-year down to 3.83, that's record. It's incredible, and it's interesting. When you see the mortgage rates drop the way they have dropped recently, uh, while it's good no news for consumers, it often, often is an indication that other things aren't going very well in the economy. And what's basically happened is that a lot of investors have fled from stocks into bonds. And when there's a lot of bond buying, it tends to drive down the price uh, or drive down the interest rates and, and so consumers can get pretty good deals. And this is a record. I mean, this is an all-time record right now and it's a great time to refinance. The question is whether people can qualify. Right, whether they can qualify and then, of course, whether they have the money to buy a house. George Donnelly, yes. appreciate it. Joining us on a Thursday to get down to business. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Maria?